Hello YouTube, this is Darkon633, back with another Stars Review. Today we're going to take a look at one of the figures released in the new Vintage Collection release, as fans dub it, Vintage Collection 2.0. Now, today we're going to take a look at the Hoth Rebel Soldier. Now, I'm not going to collect most of the first waves, since most of them are repacks, and some of the figures I just didn't really care for, but I will get Supreme Leader Snoke at some time, but for now, this is the only figure I managed to get. Anyways, we'll now take a look at the presentation and contents. To start off, we're going to take a look at the vintage card. Up here, it says Star Wars Empire Strikes Back, which is obviously where the character debuted in. We have a picture of the Hoth Rebel Trooper here. Shows the Kenner logo, since it is still based on the vintage card. On the back, there is some major changes in the back, since a lot of the older boxes had a lot more figures actually promoted. It didn't have as much text on it, but it's still nice to actually still see this back in stores. But anyways, we'll now open this up and take a look at the figure itself. Opening up the car, we have two trays, one including the accessories for the figure and obviously the figure itself. So it does have a wide variety of accessories and appropriate for the character. So I give the box and the overall presentation of the figure a 5 out of 5 since it's once again very nice to see the vintage collection back in stores. And now we're going to take a look at the features which means we're going to look at the figure itself. Since he is on the vintage collection card he does have a lot of articulations since he is a super articulated release. His head is on a ball joint so his neck can freely move all around. He does have ball hinges on the shoulders. He does have Ball hinges on the elbows, swivels at the wrists. No other points where I could tell there. He does have 360 waist articulation with a little bit of an ab crunch. He has forward and backward movements, so it does have a single swivel there. He does have swivels at the uh, thighs. He does not have knee. Oh no, never mind. He does have the knee joints. It's actually cleverly hidden and made it look like it's a swivel, my bad. He does have fully jointed ankles, so it does have a wide variety of movement, and that's about it in terms of articulation. In terms of accessories, he includes a removable backpack, this laser pistol, which he can hold on to with ease. Or if you wish to, you can place the pistol into the holster that is on the side of his hip. So that's really nice. He also has a machine gun, which is pretty cool. So you do have a lot of accessories going on with this figure. And then finally, his actual hood is removable, so we can actually look at the head sculpt underneath. It's a little bit hard to pull off, but there we go. So that's a pretty good head sculpt. So that's pretty much all we get with the Vintage Collection release. So in terms of overall features and design, I definitely give this a 5 out of 5. So in terms of overall value, I say this is a pretty good purchase if you get it at retail. I did end up spending $18 since I got it on Amazon, but it's definitely better to wait for the retail price. So at least when it comes to the main retail price, I give this a 5 out of 5 in terms of value. So that covers my review for the Star Wars Vintage Collection 2018 or Vintage Collection 2.0 Hoth Rebel Soldier. It's very nice to see the Vintage Collection back at stores and it's definitely worth the pickup, especially if you didn't get this particular character before. But since he also technically is an army builder, it's probably okay to get a couple more if you didn't get it before. Just don't spend really above the retail and it was only because I didn't really want to go to the hassle to look for it. But it's nice that we actually see this back at stores, and I can't wait to see what else comes out in this line. Anyways, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and check out Hero Club and Hero Taku. Also check out Twitter, Darkon633, and also on Instagram under Darkon633 as well. Please check the little bell at the bottom of the screen, and we'll see my content go up as soon as possible. And back with more Star Wars reviews, but for now, I'll be seeing you later, YouTube. Bye.